I'm going to try and throw a double wall pot. It probably isn't going to work. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a go. Here it goes. Clay's really hard as well. That's not going to help, is it? Giving it a bit of downward pressure to make sure it's sticking. I'm going to try and centre it now. So when you cone up your clay, often you'll get that uneven bit at the top. is the underneath side of the internal pot part. Then we're going to bring it out a little bit and then the outside edge is going to come in and hopefully we'll see if I can get it to join up. God, I haven't done one of these for, for years. So let's see, let's see what happens. It, you know, it's a weird thing to try and do anyway. So I'm just like splitting right down to the wheel head on this bit, in this sort of gutter. So I just want to um, test the thickness of that. Oh, where's my pin on the stick? Oh, where is I just use this? 
Okay, so that's the thickness, so that's that'll do. Don't want to go any thinner than that, that's for sure. Okay, so let me see if I can just bring that out a little bit. I'm just trying to widen that groove, if you like. Okay. So now this inter interior sort of bit, I'm going to try and throw that up. This is going to be a really weird shaped pot. It's not going exactly how I thought it would. No. So this bit's going to come up. that to come in because I want this pot to have like a you know obviously I've got to join it together in the middle here so let's just see what's going on so what I'm feeling for is the even thickness of the walls so now I'm just going to continue to collar this in because I do want it to meet up Okay, so it's coming in. But I'm trying to feel for like a, a decent shape as well inside. I might just try and belly that out a bit, which will reduce the height. So can you see that's kind of brought the height down, but it's made it a bit fatter just by pressing out on the inside. Let's see. to the actual shape that you're going to get on the inside because obviously you can only see the outside so and also I'm trying not to get it too too wet on the inside um, because I can't mop it out so I'm just trying to get that to really kind of come in together and actually so now I've got like a trapped air bubble in there and a big sort of nipple <laughs> which I just actually want to obviously I don't want a great big thing sticking up so I can actually press down on this now because it's got a load of tra trapped air in there it's, it's acting like a beach ball you know so I can just throw that little Okay, I'm just going to try and make that a nice shape, but I think that's okay. So that's like the middle bit. Um, 
So we're looking at the underneath side of the pot, obviously, and that is like the, it's really hard to explain. Imagine it the other way up. That's, oh God, it's too hard to put into words. You'll just have to see when it comes off. <laughs> oh God, so these bits, what are we gonna do with these? Right, so they are gonna have to come up. I just wanna, I wanted to make it a bit wider, but it's, anyway, it's not gonna be wider. It just is what it is. Okay, so these ones, I'm gonna throw these up now. So the first thing I'm gonna try and do is just get an even thickness. Like, it doesn't matter, it's gonna be really thick. It's gonna be way too thick, obviously. But at least I know it's even. I mean, that's one of the real things about throwing, is that, you know, you just try and get it even. Um, and you can always make it thinner later, okay? So I'm going right from the base. I can feel it's really thick there, so. It's quite awkward because I can only just fit my hand inside, which is a bit annoying. So I'm just gently bringing that exterior wall up. It's running out quite quickly. Going right down to the base. Let me try not to damage that interior bit then. So just squeezing. focusing on even thickness, letting the clay rotate several times before I come up at all. Okay, so you can see it's just slowly coming up. Going back down to the bottom. And now I've got a load of excess clay there that I can bring up. Slowing the wheel down a little bit. Okay, so Ideally, I want these sides to. Um, I have to try and press that down and try and get these to come up a bit more. I really planned this very well. <laughs> with regard to how big I actually want it. Okay, let's see if I can bring a little bit more up. Okay, so that's brought that outside edge because you don't want to leave any um, puddles of water anywhere. I'm just wondering if I should like bring that in and join it onto the base because I could kind of leave it like that and just have it open like that underneath. But I'm just sort of I wonder what would happen if I actually tried to join them together. I don't know if I'd be able to collar it in that much. Give it a damn good go though, couldn't I? So this is just like trying to bring that in. So as I bring it in, that's kind of okay, but it's making it bulge out at the side, so I'm just trying to... Hmm, I might, might see if I can kind of push this down a little bit. this in a little bit more. So I don't think I want to try and make it any thinner. It would be really cool if it did join up, but I want to try and keep, because now like the outside shape looks a bit like weird. So I've got to try and sort that out. Every time I try and sort the outside edge out, it's trying to push the top edge back out, you know? Let me see if I can call it, sort of like press it in a bit, like from further down. I can feel it's like wanting to sort of frill a little bit because I'm really pushing it to its limit. 
of what it wants to do. But you know, let's persevere. Come on, little pot. Be good to me. I know I'm asking a lot. I am. I'm an idiot for trying to make you like this. <laughs> okay, let me just see what's happening in here. So I'm just feeling for any sort of frilling and shadowy bits and trying to throw them back out. Because obviously as I'm pushing it in, it's becoming a bit thicker, you know? So I think the outside edge is it's starting to get there, isn't it? Oh God, let's just persevere. Let's actually have a look at it. So it doesn't actually look too bad. Uh, what am I looking for? What I'm looking for is uh, is a little kidney thing, like oh, this one, because I might just use a straight edge against against the edge of the pot, you know. Because I'm just trying to. It'd be quite cool if it had a nice. A nice kind of straight flatness to the edge. So that's, you see, so that's given it more structure instead of just being all wobbly. Let's see if I can just do that a bit more around the top. A more kind of engineered finish if you know, I suppose. I don't know if I'll be able to get it to actually join up though. I might have to leave it kind of like that because I'm just thinking I'll give it one more go. Oh, I can feel it doesn't want to do it. Goodness, I used clay that was a bit hard. <laughs> definitely wouldn't want to do it. It would not clay ball if it had been really soft clay. Right, okay, I'm just gonna swap all the head out of it now. Okay, we're getting there. Rid of those frilly bits. I'm not sure what shape the outside is going to end up, but hey. Okay, we're getting really close now. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Okay, we have closure. <laughs> it's a bit messy, but. has actually joined up so I could just tidy that up with a bit more with a bit more throwing. How am I gonna do this? Whoa. Um, okay, I'm gonna speed the wheel up a little bit. And just I mean God knows what it'll look like on the inside when we turn the whole thing over. <laughs> Okay, well, you know, it's it's all a big experiment. Let me see what I can do with this outside edge. I just want to get more of a kind of... Yeah, there's a bit of a low spot in the middle, but... I don't want to do anything about that. And I don't want it to go juddery. But anyway, can you see there's like a little mark there where it's a little bit low. And I guess what we could do is kind of try and flatten this a little bit. But 
but that'll kind of that'll go flat anyway by the time we've taken the whole thing off. Just and we tamp it down. Right, so basically that is your double wall pop. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is just uh, I always quite like to just sponge it, you know, sponge it all back, see what we've got. Um, and then I'm gonna dry it off with the hot air gun um, a little bit and try and wire it off the wheel head. Wish me luck because it could go disgustingly wrong <laughs> the next stage. So I'm gonna switch this off now and just dry it and then, because I just wanna like dry my hands because never use electrical stuff with wet hands, okay? That's, that is a hot tip. <laughs> So I'm gonna go and dry my hands and get get this dry and then I'll I'll get the video back on, okay, so you can see me wire it off and whatever happens happens, okay? Bye for now. Okay, I've tried it off a bit, not for that long. I mean it's because what's happening when I try it is the air inside the pot is expanding because it's warming up, so it's kind of like really a bit um i need to just get it off basically let's just see what happens so i'm going to splash a bit of water get a reservoir of water there in front of my pot got my homemade garden wire wire make sure it's got no oh god it's got a little kink in it now never mind okay so you're just gathering up your water and bringing that right in underneath nice try hands slide Whoa, come on, come on, come on, come on. Sliding the pot sideways, tipping the whole thing over. And there we go. So <laughs> it's stuck a bit, I have to say. So basically what you can see is, actually it's all right actually. So can you see we've got a double wall pot. So it looks really, really thick because this, I've got to trim all this away here. Um, but yeah, so it actually looks like it's got really thick walls, but we know that it's got really thin walls. So by the time I've um, trimmed this excess stuff back here, yeah, uh, hopefully it'll be an all right pot. Phew, I'm so glad that worked. I mean, it needs work, obviously, but you get the idea. <laughs> So I've got to let it dry to leather hard before I can sort that out, okay? Um, yeah, give it a go, it's a fun challenge. <laughs> God, this is a weird angle. Bye for now. I made a hole in it. Very important when you're working with big air bubbles, because that's what we've basically made. It's a huge air bubble. So I'm just giving it a blast off. So it does look quite rough. I think we can tidy it up. Let's do something with it. You can give it a bit of glass in there, actually. It looks a bit soggy. So I think I'm just going to... Um, um, I mean, I could sort of turn this pot back on the wheel. Or I could use the sir forms on it a bit. I might do a bit of both, actually. Um... Yeah, because there's quite a lot of clay to come off here and, and here, here particularly. And I could just pop it back on the wheel head and just turn that off, maybe. I do quite like using the old surf on zone, just packing it back. So you can see that through the force drying, you see where it's starting to crack around the edge, because that's because that's like a really thin, thin, thin edge attached to a really thick edge. So the thin edge has to shrink. And so like it will shrink and you can see that it's dry because it's changed color as well. Yeah, can you see it's a slightly different color. And when that happens, it goes like bone dry. So it's done its shrinking. So of course, if you're, if you're drying something really thin attached to something really thick, it's, it's gonna shrink. You can't stop that from happening. So it will just like crack. But it doesn't matter because I'm gonna take all of that off. So. Who cares? Um, right, on for the next bit. I mean, well, off and then on. I can't resist doing a bit of surf forming. I'm just gonna do it. Just a bit, just a little bit. Oh, God, where's my glasses? 
Hold on. Let me get my specs. Oh, just makes such a difference. Okay, that's better now I can see. So I just want to get some of this off. Oh, and, and I'm rushing it. And it's not really ready <laughs> at all. It's really soft. I'm so impatient. I just wanted to get rid of those bits that looked like they were cracking. Um, that's better. And this surform tool is really good. It's one of the ones that is good for like doing the inside of pots. Oh god, sorry, the music's gone a bit funny. Sounds like an air raid siren. Oh god. Right. Okay. Sorry about that. I don't know what the hell that is. Um. Okay. So that's got the worst of it off. Okay. It's a good start. And then this one is really good for this edge here. Okay. I just want to get that really sharp, sharp, sharp bit off. That's it. Oh, yes. That's better. Okay. Much better. Right, I'm going to switch, switch this off and switch the music off because it's gone really weird. Okay. So, I'm just kind of back on the old surforms. I've tried it off a tiny bit more. So these flat surforms, I think I'm just going to surform it actually. Um, because it's, I like the marks it makes. You know? So this, these flat ones are really good for, guess what? Making flat, flat areas. <laughs> so I do find like a diagonal um, kind of action is better. You get a wider, bigger area of surface that's being flattened, um, if that makes sense. Rather than just going like little, little ones like this, you know, you probably get a bit of a corrugated surface. But I might, um, I might end up fettling the top on a fettling board to get it like totally flat. Maybe. I might do a little bit more with the flat one around the edge. Just to take off a little bit excess around there. Like I want it to be fairly symmetrical. And I'm not bothered if it's not, it's not really 100%, but I'll just keep sort of checking that a little bit. So it's this area here that's still a bit thick, but you can see we're getting there now. We are getting there now. Um, so, whoa, where is it? Here we are. So this one, I'm gonna stand up to do this actually, so that I can see. I hope you can see all right. Um, so I'm just, again, diagonally dragging it up around the sides of the inside. So I'm just following, I'm just trying to match up with the actual th rest of the throne pot, you know, on the inside. So I don't want to damage the inside with the marks. I'm just trying to take off the excess, that excess thickness around the top there. Um, yes, I'm getting there. Okay, that's looking better. So that's opened it up quite a lot. Okay, get that up. <laughs> um, so I think I want to try it a little bit more because it's got a bit tacky because I'm rushing it. So let's do that a minute. I'm trying to dry that top edge. Because that's where the thickness of the clay is. And that's why I want to focus on thinning out. So I'll just take those little score bits, those little burrs off. Okay. It's looking much better. 
just tip that out. Yeah, so you can see how that's coming together now. The thing is, I've, I realise I'm, because I'm using the surform, like I'm not getting that like completely symmetrical, which is bugging me a bit, but I could keep going with it. I guess I could use a template on here and just take it back a little bit more. I mean, I could probably do a bit more with this, but you know, it's just a case of either, you know, I mean, I could put it on the wheel and turn it, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep going with the surf on and just get it, get it as good as I can. But, you know, you can see, you can see how that is. It's quite nice, isn't it? Um, yeah, I wanna just keep going with this bit. What I'll do, is I'm going to keep going with my little surf form and it, it's going to take me a while. I'm going to be tweaking it and stuff, so I'll switch the video off, but I will come back to you when um, when I've got there a bit more, all right? Hiya. Okay, so I've done my um, surf forming. I'm just going to leave the top with, that, with those nice marks, but the base looks really bad. I've had to fix it a bit, it looks all lumpy and horrible. So I'm gonna show you how to use the fettling board um, and going to fettle the base. The pot's still a bit soft actually, I'm really rushing this. So this is just a piece of thick canvas on top of a kiln shelf, I'll show you. It's just, this is so easy. It's just a piece of board on top of a kiln shelf, one that's got glaze all over it that I can't really use. So um, the kiln shelf is to give it a bit of weight and the board is just to make it nice and flat. So you're just gonna make that quite wet, actually, with your sponge, okay? And then you're gonna get whatever it is you want to fettle and get flat, and you're gonna really hold on to it. Oh, I need to get that a bit more tucked in. It's good if the canvas is nice and tight, or if you can get it a bit tight anyway. So then you're just going to move that round and round and round. And so it's just like a slightly abrasive surface. And when you start to feel like it's slipping, it means that you need to wipe off all the clay particles that are all kind of got stuck in the, um, in the canvas and then pop it back down. So you can see that it's starting to get nice and flat. Can you see it's not quite flat because there's still a low point there. So I'm just going to do that again. And I can feel it just taking that down. But now it's gone all slippery because there's loads of clay on there again. So I'm gonna lift it up. Oh, I'm nearly there with it though. And wipe all the clay off. Because you're getting all those little um, kind of really fine particles of clay clogging up the cloth. Okay, that's better. I can feel a bit more, a little bit more sort of abrasion there. Oops, it's going a bit funny, isn't it? Right, let's take that off. Okay. okay, so now you can see that's got the base completely flat. And once I've sponged off the excess, let me show you. You'll see. Oh, is it still like, does it look like there's still a bit of a shadow there? Let's see, yeah, it does look like there's still a little low point. Very slight, doesn't it? Let's see if we can get rid of that because it is such a good way of doing that. It's just that it's moving around a bit on the surface. Really, I suppose. I did it like that. I just want it really tight on there so it doesn't move around. But anyway, right. Okay. So, a little bit more. Now that is looking better now. If I just show you in the light, that'll do. It's good enough. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Right, so I'm gonna pop that down. So that is fettling, um, you know. And so pretty much the pot's kind of finished now um, in terms of its form anyway. I might just very lightly sponge this edge around here and sponge this edge around here. Um, but apart from that, that is your classic double-walled pot thrown on the wheel um, and finished with surf forms. 
So it's I quite like them because they look really thick, but they, they're not heavy, you know. Well, I mean, it's a bit heavy, but you get the idea. Bye from Sideways Jane. See you.